welcome back to my channel. Today I have an Ulta haul. It's a mini Ulta haul. It's nothing humongous. But I did have $125 in Ulta points, which I feel like is a lot. Like, how does it add up so fast? I didn't even, I mean, I have bought a lot from Ulta lately, but... Anyways, Ulta's point system is absolutely fantastic, and I recently was upgraded to a diamond, so don't really know what that means, but I think it means I spend a lot of money there. Anyways, I was like, you know what, I'm going to go spend my $125, so I picked up a few things that I thought I would share with you guys. The first one I'm wearing on my eyes today, this is actually part of a tutorial that I filmed today as well for just like summer makeup. I don't know, fun, easy. This is nothing crazy. I'm not wearing like falsies or anything today. Just like an easy summer makeup look. So I'll link that down below if you haven't checked it out. But this is the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I've had my eye on this for quite some time and I finally was like, you know what? Just buy it. If you don't like it, you can return it. And I have to keep telling myself that if you don't like it, return it. Stop keeping things you don't like, which is, I can tangent forever about that. But Anyways, the Tartlet in Bloom, I wasn't the biggest fan of the original Tartlet palette. Um, I actually got rid of that quite some time ago, but the Tartlet in Bloom I've heard really super good things about. So here's the packaging, first of all, so stinking cute, right? And then here's what it looks like inside. I will say these colors are perfect. I feel like this is one of the most perfect kind of like, if you only can have one palette, a color selection like this is what you want. So the top row is more like cool toned neutrals, then you have your more like neutral neutrals, you know what I mean? And then these are more your warm tones. I'm wearing this row on my eyes today, except for the dark one. I didn't go too dark because it is daytime and you know, I wanted a nice fun summery daytime look. But I love these like pinky browns, like this color Sweetheart is so pretty. And they are a little bit on the powdery side, but they're really soft and like Really, I mean, look at how they swatch. Look at that. They swatch really, really nice. Um, when you put your brush in there and you're swirling it around, they are, again, a bit on the powdery side, but I don't know. That's not like a deal breaker for me. This is the Shimmer Funny Girl. So the original Tartlet palette had only mattes in it. This one has some shimmers in it. I'm sure you guys have heard people talk about this before. It's nothing new. It's been out for a long time. I'm just kind of late to the boat on it. Late to the party, but... I will say I was not impressed with Charmer. I tried to use it as like a brow highlight and I don't see it at all. It like kind of disappears. So really super excited about this. And the second eyeshadow palette, so I did buy two eyeshadow palettes, which why did I do that? But this one right here is by Dominique Cosmetics. So kind of a side note, I'm not sure if Dominique Cosmetics is still being sold at Ulta because I had my eye on this for a really, really, really long time and it was like in my Ulta cart and then I would take it out and then I'd put it back in and then when I finally was like, oh my god, I have 125 points, I'm going to buy that stinking palette, it was removed from my cart and removed from the website. You can't even find Dominique Cosmetics on Ulta.com at all. So I went in store and that's where I found it. They still had a few in store. And I asked the girl at the counter, like, hey, what's going on with Dominique Cosmetics? Like, why isn't it online anymore? And she had no idea. She was like, I didn't even know it wasn't online anymore. And then that same day, <laughs> Dominique Cosmetics announced that it's being sold at Sephora. So I don't know if she's pulling from Ulta and exclusively going to be Sephora or, like, what's going on. Um... That's the backstory on that. But yeah, if you want to buy it at Ulta because you like Ulta's point system better, check out in-store because you can't find this online anymore, which is dumb. But the Dominique Cosmetics, I didn't even tell you what this is, Dominique Cosmetics Latte Palette. So if you didn't know, Dominique is Kristen Dominique. She's a YouTuber. And I think it is so awesome that she has her own makeup line and even more so that it's now being sold at Sephora, that it was sold at Ulta. Like that's a big deal. So like kudos to Com Dominique Cosmetics. But her packaging is so pretty. It's white matte with like this rose gold detail to it, like this metallic rose gold. It is so pretty, you guys. It is really super pretty. She has a new palette called the Lemonade Palette, which I probably won't get because those are colors that I don't really, really like. But the Latte Palette is nudes. Now, I'm not going to swatch this because I want to take an Instagram photo, which I haven't taken yet. But here's what it looks like. So you have like a row of mattes up here neutral mattes. You have three shimmers, and these are all shimmers that I think I would absolutely love. And then you have two fun colors here. And I feel like they're like normal wearable fun colors, 
that you can mix with these neutrals and I feel like you have everything you need to do a really pretty eye except for like a brow bone highlight it is missing that but you have like vanilla cream which is your all over lid color you have caramel which would be a really pretty crease color hazelnut is like a reddish brown mocha is like a deep like neutral brown you got this pumpkin spice which is kind of orangey I mean these are so pretty I really do want to swatch this but I'm gonna take some Instagram photos first before I swatch it I might do a video completely dedicated to this palette um, maybe where I swatch it all and do an eye look. So let me know if you guys are interested in something like that or if you would be interested in something like that. I honestly don't hear a lot of people talk about Dominique Cosmetics, which is surprising. So, because she's a YouTuber. But anyways, ooh, my nose is itchy. Whew, never mind that. Um, the next thing I picked up is the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. So too Faced recently sent me a whole box of their new Born This Way concealer, and I've really been liking that concealer, so I figured I would finally test out their foundation. Um, previously, I couldn't find a foundation in this range to match me, like, color-wise. Their colors used to run, and they still do kind of run... God, what is on my forehead? Um, something was on my forehead. Oh, that was a mess. I was looking in the... I have a mirror right here below me. And there's something oh, great. And there's lipstick on my beauty blender. Just a hot mess, aren't I? Um, their range used to run really, really yellow. And it still kind of does. And I'm very cool undertoned. I have lots of pink. Um, sometimes I can get away with neutral, but their range was really yellow. So now they have some more. They expanded it. They have really, really dark shades, really, really light shades. And this was one where they, it was like a cool tone shade. I was like, ooh, so it's in the color Seashell. And it's like their light rosy color. So I still think it might be a little bit too dark for me. But we'll see. I haven't tried it out yet. Um, when I swatched it in the store, it seemed like it was going to work color-wise for me. So, yeah, even this is still like a little bit on the yellow side. Like if anything, it's maybe neutral, not cool toned. I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it that well. But... We'll see. I haven't worn it on my face yet, um, but I really like their concealer. And I've heard really, really good things about this foundation, you guys. So I'm happy to finally have it, happy to finally test it out. So there's that. And then I also picked up the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. So I have been a longtime fan of the Milk Chocolate Soleil Bronzer, but the Chocolate Soleil Bronzer is just a hint darker. Milk Chocolate is for like very fair skin. And I've been a little bit more bold with my bronzer lately, which made me want to try the darker one, which is the regular. And this is like the OG. So originally it was Chocolate Soleil. Then they expanded the range and they came out with the Dark Chocolate Soleil, which was darker, and then the Milk Chocolate Soleil, which was lighter. And I got on the bandwagon with Milk Chocolate Soleil. But the regular Chocolate Soleil is just like a little bit deeper. And I think that this will work good. Oh my God, it smells so good. It smells like chocolate. Um, this will work good right now for like the summertime, even transitioning a little bit into fall. Um, or anytime I just need like to darken things up and get a little bit more of a glow going on. So, love that. I love the new packaging too. This new packaging of their bronzers is just more, I feel like it looks more classy, high-end, less cheap. Some of their old packaging was a little bit cheap. And it has like a little heart clasp right there. So cute. I love I really do like Too Faced, you guys. They're one of my favorite brands. They're just, their packaging is nice, their products are good. So, the last thing I picked up is by NARS, and now I've heard nobody talk about these. Like, there's been no hype around these at all, so I don't even know if they're good, but I saw it and I was like, oh my god, that's a really pretty color. So it's the NARS Full Vinyl Lip Lacquer. I got the color Santo Domingo, which was like their nudie pink. Surprise, surprise, right? But, I feel like these might be a tiny bit sticky, but I think I'm going to like it. Pretty color. Really pretty. I mean, the color is similar to what I was wearing already, but a hint more pink, which I actually like anyways. Ooh, buddy. The applicator is really nice. It almost has like a hole in the middle and that's where the product gathers, but it dispenses like just the perfect amount of product. I really liked that. Love the color. 
It's not sticky at all. I thought it was going to be sticky. It's not. It's just more of like a really pigmented lip gloss. And these remind me, or this remind me, the whole range reminded me a lot of the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip glosses where they're just really, really pigmented. And I'm kind of getting more into gloss again instead of like liquid lipsticks. So really nice and comfortable on the lips. Smooth. I wonder if this is like infused with any kind of butter. Apply desired amount of the color to lips using plush side of the applicator tip. Use smooth side of the applicator to evenly distribute color for intense shine. So yeah, definitely not your matte lip, more of like your really pigmented gloss or like liquid lip that's not matte. I don't know. I don't really know what they are. It's a vinyl, whatever. It's a lip vinyl. So yeah, those are the few little things I picked up. Again, not a huge haul, but I did want to share it with you guys because you will see these kind of sprinkled throughout some of my videos. Um, and I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up and share my thoughts with you. So if you do want to see a dedicated video, I think specifically on the Dominique Cosmetics palette, let me know. I'll probably end up filming it anyway, even if you don't say you want to see it. But I hope that you watch it and I hope that you guys liked this video. Um, I love doing hauls. I know you guys like watching hauls. And if you want to buy any of these products, I'm going to link them down below for you. The direct link, um, I might have to link Sephora instead of Ulta for Dominique Cosmetics because I can't find this on Ulta anymore. But I promise you it was, I bought it at Ulta. It was there at one point. But anyways, I'm going to link to all of these products directly down below so that you can check them out. And I hope that you will. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.